Yo, what's up guys? Mark here. Today we're out here in the woods and it's rained for the first time in weeks. And when it rains, sometimes fishing tends to be better. So we're out here heading to the Yellow River to see if we can catch some fish. It's a little windy today. Y'all can probably hear that. Just the wind in the trees up there. But yeah, I think today we'll catch some catfish oh! or some bass. I got some worms, so we can catch a whole bunch of stuff. But yeah, today I'm hoping for a catfish or a bass to hopefully bring home and chef up, make something. Today, it's 68 degrees out, May 23rd. It's a nice change. It's been super hot, like 90 degrees almost every day here in Georgia. So yeah, I'm glad, it, I'm actually glad it rained. Yeah, that wind ain't playing today. A lot of times, I'm pretty sure after it rains too, you'll sometimes see snakes out. So maybe we'll see a snake today. Well, there's a mushroom. Looks kinda like a shiitake mushroom. Kinda. If any of y'all know what kind of mushroom this is, let me know in the comments. Oh wow. So yeah, this is the same spot that I fished when I had caught that turtle. And now it's completely submerged. Like completely submerged. I was standing on a rock over there. Yeah, it's super flooded. It looks like chocolate milk. But yeah, today I'm not gonna fish this spot like I fished last time. I'm probably gonna go down the river a little bit more that way and uh, check out another spot over there okay all right this is the spot we're gonna fish the current looks pretty fast but we'll see if we can catch something the river hasn't been this flooded in a while like i want to say a couple weeks maybe a month all right today we got split shot weights and a small hook and for bait, we got some worms. All right, let's see if we can find a fish in this chocolate milk river. We got a tree. Oh, lost my bait. Oh, and the sun's coming out a little bit. Uh, I gotta dodge this tree. I just, I, I got caught in the tree just now. Some bit it. Oh, what the? The bug just landed on me. Looks like some sort of fly species. Look at its eyes. Look like a fly, don't it? If anyone knows what this is, let me know in the comments. It looks pretty cool. Landed right on me. All right, bro. Peace. Peace out. Oh, now he's on my. There he goes. I bet I'm going to catch a catfish. That's my guess. Yo. Uh, yesterday was a complete fail. Total fail. But today we're back out. We're at a different spot today. A little smaller creek. Hopefully we can manage to catch some here. This is the spot. This little creek underneath the bridge. Got my boy Klaus out today. Yep. Hopefully we'll catch a fish. Klaus caught his first fish <laughs> over here. Okay. Yes, sir. Got the bluegill. Dang, this, look how fat it is. It's a well-fed bluegill. Boy, fat. <laughs> Dope. Nice. 
See you later, alligator. Let's go over there. I just got snagged. Too. Oh, he, yo, yo, my boy, let's can go. That's a nice crappy. Oh, Klaus slaying today. What? What? My boy, my boy. Damn, that's a nice crappy, bro. That's a whole fish. Holy shit. This is like. That's pretty big. Eight inches. Can you all see that? Eight inch, maybe nine inch crappie. Just right here, right in front of us. It's never that, got it at first. That's I a, just played with it. <laughs> that is a nice fish, bro. Let's can go. Yes, sir. Victory screech. Woo! Whoa. <laughs> well, Klaus done did the thing. Got the first good fish of the day. All right, let's close it. He's good work. Yes, sir. Damn, and we were we weren't even gonna fish over there. Either. Yeah, we weren't even gonna fish right here. We were about to leave. I had just got snagged. He had just got snagged, and then he pulls out a big ass crappie. Like what? Yeah, run it back. There's no crappies. Uh, crappies are schooling fish, so there's probably a bunch over there where you caught it. So we probably should keep fishing this this spot right here for a little bit at least. Yeah, got a little baby though. Oh, it came off. Yeah. All right, we're over here now. Gonna try fishing right here. Klaus got half a rod because his rod broke earlier. It was tiny. I don't, you didn't see it, huh? Oh, the one I caught a little bit ago. Oh, uh, yeah, that one was too small, too. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Woo. 
A little bluegill. That's like the same one I caught earlier. Yep, this is about the same I caught before. Saving it? Right. Yeah, we could fry a hole. You want? Let's do that. Let's fry a hole. Right. Oh, true. Yeah, if you fry a hole, these small ones you can just eat straight up. You don't even have to pick it apart. You don't have to like, but like, you don't have to cut the inside of it to take anything. Yeah, you gotta take the insides out, but then that's it. Yeah, this one swallowed the hook, so we're gonna eat it. All right, we're back at the crib. Today we got small bluegill and a crappie. Still alive. I've never seen a crappie this silver before. I caught one on my other channel, the Mark Japanese channel, and it was it was like blue and black with stripes on it. Oh! But we got this is like a super silver one. I've never seen them this color before. But yes, crappie are really good food fish, so I'm excited to eat it. So first, we're gonna bonk them. All right. Then we want to cut the gills to bleed the fish out like that. Water. All right, now, next step, we're gonna scale them. You got all the scales off. We're gonna take the cuts out. You're gonna come from this hole right here with some scissors and just snip open. All right, these are the guts. Just take these out. Should come out with the gills. All right. His stomach does look a little full, so we're gonna see what he was eating. Oh. What's that? Uh, what is that? Some worms, it looks like. <laughs> some sort of bugs. Yeah, just some... Some bugs. Alright. Throw it away. Pop the, the spoon bladder. Take your finger, go back and forth. All right, this crappie is ready. Now for the bluegill, we're gonna fry it whole. So all we're gonna do is just take the guts out. We're gonna leave the scales on. It's already pretty small. Okay, all right, so we're grilling this one, so we're just gonna put a couple cuts in it, like this. And flip it, do the same thing. All right, so we're just gonna put some salt. Oh! Salt on the inside. We're gonna put just a little bit of Goya. Oh. <laughs> yeah, he's not down. She's not down. Mm -hmm. Not down for the test, down for the And then the bluegill, we're just frying whole, so we're just gonna salt it.
heat on, medium. Put some oil. So I got this thing that protects oil from splattering. Let's see how it works. The oil's mad hot. Okay. All right, time to flip. Brown. All right, this one's ready. Klaus's first fish. First crappie. First cra and first fish, like no, literally. second fish? Second fish actually. Ever? Ever. Yes, yeah, so we got <laughs> the crappie right here. And then we got the bluegill I caught. It's a little bluegill. <laughs> Fried it crispy. And then we just got some corn and macaroni and cheese just as sides. Alright, let's dive into this crappie. Let's try this piece right here. Oh, nice. Okay. All right, one, two, three, go. Cheers. Cheers. Damn. That's actually really fucking good. It's good. It's good. <laughs> good. <laughs> that's a good, that's a good fish right there. Yeah, it tastes like good white meat fish. Careful with the, the rib bones mm. in that one. Yeah, you just gotta eat around the bones, but yeah, it's really good. Oh yeah, that's a tasty fucking fish. Mm -hmm. It tastes good too because you caught it. Oh! Yeah, literally. Yeah, that's really good. Delicious. Now, if any if any part's gonna not be good, it's gonna be the belly. So try that one. Tell me how it is. Sometimes it just tastes like water. Like water? It's, it's like what I imagined the water to taste like yeah. that it was in. <laughs> Alright, the collar right here. Yeah, try this piece. Should be good. Yeah. All right. Next, let's try this bluegill. All right. So how are we gonna do this? We're gonna break it in half. Ooh, perfect. All right. I'll take. You take this one. I'll take this okay. one. Crunchy. Tasty. Yeah, it's good. Literally just tastes like a chip. Yeah, if you just fry it, fry it a lot, you can eat straight through the bones. Klaus got some salsa verde. Ooh. Mmm. Good, huh? Mmm. Alright. Now let's try some of this mac and cheese. There we go. Alright. Some good mac. Good cheese. Mm. Mm. Alright, now that we've tried everything, we'd like to present our drinks. <laughs> uh, St. Paul non-alcoholic. Flip the crappie over. 
Oh, just like before. You running everything? Yeah. A little bit of corn, a little bit of cheese. Mm. How is it? Nice. The protein, the cheese, the corn. It's everything you need. Yeah, it's good. we really got it all covered. We don't got no greens, but we got like greens. Yeah, really. we, for sure. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, right? 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10, 10, bro. Out of 10, 10 out of 10. For real. Nice. That's literally like my first time eating a fish that it wasn't like a non flavored fish, you know? Like, mm -hmm. have some flavor to it. Exactly. Yeah, but you caught a good fish to eat. That's why I was hyped. I was like, and it's big. Yeah. Woo. Are you full? Good thing you caught that. Caught it, bro. Yeah, we grilled the crappie. It came out perfect. And then we uh, we fried the bluegill. Yeah. Crunchy, and it was so good. Perfect. Yeah. Like a little chip. First time fishing. Yeah, it was Klaus's first broke, time fishing. Broke, broke my reel, but it's all good. Got the Walmart uh, warranty on it. Yeah, we're gonna get out some more. Uh, Klaus is down. Yeah. Yeah. Do some more catch. I'm gonna need him to come along because I didn't even catch anything. Right. I went out yesterday huh. and I didn't catch nothing. And then I came out today and then Klaus catches this big crappy. <laughs> he catches dinner. Bro, beginner's luck. Beginner's luck, man. No, next time I'm gonna catch like three more. Yes, we're gonna run back another catch and cook in the future. Y'all also go out to your local creek, river, catch some crappy, chef it up. Worth it. It's so good. Definitely worth it. Eat it with some sides. Some mac and cheese, some corn or whatever. You could do whatever, <laughs> like put whatever sides or just eat the fish straight up. No, like, straight up. Just do whatever. Like out the Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye. Bye.